let's check another scenario in me21n so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create a po and let's see what error i get so so here let's see i gave usd and then each then material group this and then plant this i hit enter i get a pop-up now i want to debug where this user and username are coming from so what is the logic for that so what i'll do i'll use our debugging pop-up debugging skill which we learned remember i took that shifted that advanced debugging from fifth section to fourth part just so that i can show it here so let me go to my pop-up debugging text and then i will go to my sap create purchase order creation and drag it over here so if you have not taken that advanced debugging uh, video please check it so you need to check that how to debug at uh, pop-up and then you can come here again because i have showed you there in detail how to debug a pop-up screen so once i uh, my debugging switched on i'll hit ok now it will take me to debugger look i am here now we need to analyze so what are the things available or what are the uh, functions or events uh, undergone before coming to the pop-up so if you see here list in pop-up pop-up 2 and there is kkk list display so you need to uh, use your uh, what do you say you can use your senses and try to do the best possible guess so what i'll see I, i'll do is that i'll check all the steps done prior to reaching to this pop-up so what happened here so if you see here there is something called method where it says process item and if you see the program the program starts with z so this is a very good spot so this might be a idle spot for you to check so what i'll do i'll check at this spot how to do that i'll just click on this guy now this is in a custom program this gcl so if i go up if i go up i'll find that this is a method of some standard program so actually this is a baddie okay now so if i click on this guy on this one okay that's fine so let me do f5 again and then come back to this method so here so all the data are coming from above waved so what i'll do is so if you see here and here so if this is initial you see that if the item af name is initial then select the pop-up or show the pop-up but you wanted to know how that logic is coming so for that what you need to do you need to scroll up and check okay there is some table called user um, underscore adr so it's coming from that table you just note it down then again keep on looking up and then you find that agr underscore users so this is how you find uh, find the list all right so now since you found the place where some enhancement is being done but you have already crossed it so what should you be doing ideally now you should be putting a debugger now now since you found it you found the spread you, you put a breakpoint here save it now go out of the program and then do the transaction one more time this time you don't need to do a pop-up debugging because you have put a debugger it will stop exactly there after the pop-up so let me show you again so what I'll, I'll do is i'll put the same data which i was trying to do i'll do this this quantity i can give any number i'll say each net price say one dollar usd and each and then material i'll give this and i'll give this and hit enter a pop-up will come oh pop up before pop up this thing came because we had put a debugger in our previous section so so you see that pop up and debugger was there but it helped us to identify what the actual code was there so we put the code over the um, debugger over, over there and now we are debugging it before the pop-up comes okay so if we, if i go here so if it is for um 
document of nb so it's not so it will not go there over here so if you see the approval name there are some 537 approvers then it's trying to make some uh, table here choose requisition now i come here and i'll check this guy so so i do f i it so my cursor came over here now i'll check whether it is initial or not so here the af name is still initial that means the approval name is initial that means then you need to use the reuse alb pop-up to select so you have to show a pop-up and the pop-up will have value from this this table so what is the catalog here you have two fields in the username and the text okay and then let's see what is the table it approver so data will come from this table so it will show that pop-up will show this 537 entries so what i'll do is i know it will come inside here and then it will show a pop-up so i want to see what happens after the pop-up so i'll i'll before the pop-up is triggered i'll put a debugger so that my pop-up will stop there so i i fit pop-up comes now i'll hit ok so and now we have another error so you have to put purchase order so now if you want to see where this purchase or error is coming you can do that too for that what you need to do is you need to double click on that purchase or you see the message number me083 okay i closed i'll just copy it me0883 so what i'll do i'll do a slash h i'll do save and then i'll go to breakpoint 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 at message message is me083 so message name is me and 083 is the number okay now i go okay now now breakpoint is set this is a dynamic breakpoint now i'll say go continue till some breakpoint is reached i'll do this edit all right i got the message here let's see what's the message number so message id is me and let's see what is the message number you see it stopped at the same message this is um, this is the message id and this is the message number which we gave and we can see that in our debugger as well so let's go to the breakpoint so what are the breakpoints we have now so we have a dynamic breakpoint here on message which says message id has to be me and message number is equal to 083 so that's where exactly our code has stopped you see here so now i i know what has to be done i i know that the purchase org number has to be given so what i'll do okay you get so many errors you can debug this also so what you can do is you can give a pop-up debugger you can debug this line but it makes no sense debugging this because this has all the information is already there so you have to put a purchase org your pure header data still faulty this all message so you don't need to debug it what you need to do is you need to correct them all right you need to correct all the entries now again if you want to know where this message is coming from the step is same you double click on this get the message number okay message number is 06026 so 06 has to be the message id and 026 has to be your message number okay you do the same thing slash h try to save it now breakpoint breakpoint add started message i give the message number 026 and message id is 06 all right and then i do f8 edit so, so it's stopping in the previous message which we had i'll do f8 again now look here it stopped in the next one 06026 did you get it so this is how you debug to get the exact location of the message now if you have the message here you just try to figure out what is not uh, what causing this message to trigger so the message being is being triggered when g display balance as show message id is not initial when this guy is populated so where is this guy populated from okay so you need to find out where is this guy populated from so control c i do a control f i'll say search up control v search up okay so it is coming from here so here it is getting populated now you need to the next time you put a debugger you have to put a debugger here and then you want to go inside it and then check what is missing there okay so if you are a functional guy i think it will be too much for you to do this but still 
you know where exactly the debugger has to be placed and then you can ask your app wrapper to okay i found that the message is coming from here so can you please check the code and let me know what has to be done to fix that so and they would take it from there all right hope uh, you are able to uh, you will be able to debug a standard t code and do some basic uh, error handling and find out uh, where the messages are coming from and also debug a pop-up